The search for the new Black Stars head coach could be coming to an end soon as the five-member search party which was collated by the FA to look for a new head coach has submitted their report. Following that, the next step is to look at that report and then involve the necessary stakeholders that could get us our new head coach we'll be looking at the details today we're also going to talk about Abdul Fatah Isaku. after an amazing night in which he scored the winner for his club side his coach doesn't seem to be so impressed we'll have a look at comments that have come in after Abdul Fatah Isaku got the winner in a man of the match performance in his first Emirates FA Cup game as usual don't forget to subscribe if you have not uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it and first start off from the camp of the Ghana Black Stars the head coach search is probably over now as uh, the report has been submitted uh, by the search committee uh, to the Ghana Football Association president uh, they looked five member committee put together uh, headed uh, by Marcado uh, to look for a new head coach. Reports were that Otoado was a front runner after the interview session uh, since he satisfied a lot or impressed a lot of those on the panel. Uh, one Tom Seinfeld has already accepted another job so he is not in contention anymore. There have been other people who have applied for the job and have been interviewed but uh, the search committee has submitted their reports and recommendations to the executive council of the Ghana Football Association for further action. The committee has been mandated uh, to by the FA uh, to find a replacement for Coach Chris Hutton. And as you know, we are preparing for international break, which will mean international friendlies. And without a coach, it might not be the best. The committee was mandated by the FA uh, to look for a replacement for Coach Chris Hutton after Ghana's poor showing at the APCON 2023. The president of the FA personally received the report on Tuesday, 27th February. The Ghana FA on Wednesday said the executive council uh, will review the recommendations from the search committee and decide on the next Black Stars head coach which is interesting. Once the uh, coaching decision is resolved, the FA will engage the Ministry of Youth and Sports as well as other key stakeholders for their support. Interesting. Now, the FA Executive Council asked a five-member committee headed by Vice President Marcado uh, to find a replacement for Coach Chris Uting on January 25th. The committee also mandated to target suitable and competent coaches for the consideration even if they don't apply for the post the data bank ceo adai kojo mensa gfa technical director prosper professor joseph kwame william akate uh, joseph kwame minta uh, ghana legend opuku inti and william kate executive chief director of the ministry of Fish and sports were the members of the committee and they have uh, presented uh, their reports on all the uh, scouting they did for the next black stars head coach hopefully they made a right choice and got us a coach who can deliver uh, the right things for us in terms of what we want to achieve with the ghana black stars and uh, it has been uh, an up and down rumors here and there in the next couple of weeks we will know who will be the next head coach of the Ghana Black Stars. As uh, we are looking really, really forward to that. Ghana has not been, has been without a coach for a while after the sacking of coach Chris Uting, following uh, confirmation of our exit from the group stages once again of the African Cup of Nations. Chris Uting and the Black Stars were holding out a torch uh, for possibly uh, making it as one of the third best place teams but it wasn't to be as results did not go our way Hutting was released of his duties and uh, we have now been looking for a coach since then candidates came up or to uh, tom sign that uh, also uh, in their mix along with several other candidates so uh, we are looking forward to see who they have decided to settle on as the next head coach and the various stakeholders will be adequately informed before a final decision 
is made. We'll be keeping a close eye on it and updating you accordingly. My next and final story has to do with Abdul Fattah Wisaku, who last night, after his amazing performance for his club side Leicester City, getting them into the quarterfinal, did not impress his coach so much. Let's have a look at what he had to say after Fattah Wisaku's match winner. Yeah, uh, I said he probably shoot 25 times during uh, his time at Leicester and finally he could score tonight. But uh, I remember many, many of the shots on the, on the stand from him. So if we have to wait another 25 shoot, it's a little bit long. Yeah, so he heard from the coach there. He says probably Fatal Isaku has uh, tried that sort a couple of times and this is probably the 25th time if another 25 they have to wait before he gets it on target it might not it might be a worry and rightly so uh, we've been saying this about Fatal Isaku he's a great talent he's an amazing kid he does well but probably his effectiveness in the final third his decision making is a uh, a bit found wanting and probably as the head coach of the side he would want to help him uh, maneuver those waters uh, pretty easily he would want to help him be better at the final decision making but it was quite interesting that observation he made there aptly put many people have been saying it he tries a sort and it's not clinical enough it does not get the results we're all looking forward to and probably it is not sometimes the best decision to make but last night it was and was a decisive in determining who made it to the quarterfinal afc bournemouth versus leicester city man of the match performance i don't know whatever the coach thinks i don't care what he thinks but it was decisive when it mattered probably the other times it would also matter uh, but not as much as this one but let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the comments coming in from the head coach of leicester city on abdul fatah is Aku's profigacy he's still young he's learning the trade he's learning the ropes yes he will need improvement as will any young player who is playing in the championship for the very first time on loan from a club where he got little to no playing time i think he needs playing time and that is what we need to give him here and uh not playing the african cup of nations probably did him a lot of good but even though uh, he was a sideline due to suspension for the greater part of the competition but it has it was a great night despite what the coaches say it was a great night for him his final third decision making will need to be much better, obviously, but it still was a great night for him. But let me know your thoughts in the comments box on the comments coming in from the head coach of Leicester City. So that has been it for today. Uh, talking to you about the search for a new Black Stars head coach. The latest is that the report has been submitted by the search committee. Uh, the various stakeholders will be informed, uh, brought into the loop, and a decision on the new head coach will be announced accordingly and Abdul Patao is Aku's coach on his profligacy in front of goal. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.